Hi everyone, I am Crystal Hinkle and I am a part of the team here at Repair Shopper. I want to take a moment to show you ways that Repair Shopper can adapt with you and your business during these rapidly changing times. Let's talk about the benefits of utilizing the customer portal as your customer demands and work environments change. So I have an example of a customer portal up here for you. You'll see that um, it's utilizing whatever logo that you have uploaded, of course, your business name. It's also worth noting this color scheme can be changed. I will show you that in a little bit. Um, but you can also customize what level of access you give your customers. So this would probably be an example of an admin on the account because you'll see that they have access to their stored payment options. Um, this is assuming that you have a payment processor integrated with your Repair Shopper account. They can also see all of their tickets and of course they can create a ticket for you from here. Um, they can see their open invoices. The lovely thing about having a payment processor integrated is they can pay straight from their portal. They can see all of their recent payments. They can approve or decline an estimate with a click of a button from their own home. So that is super helpful. Um, you could add attachments here. They can see a list of their assets. And the other thing that I think is important to note, especially now, is documentation that you can pass via the customer portal. So this might be currently somewhere that you have little, you know, how-to guides or wiki guides, but this might be a really great place if you do have a statement for your customers of how your support will remain intact during these times. Or possibly this is a way to offer resources for your customers and teach them, you know, how to succeed in a remote environment. So there's some neat things you could do here with documentation. So as I mentioned, this is fully customizable. So I'm gonna head over to the admin section. If I scroll down just a little bit under customers, you'll see portal user permissions. So this is where you can decide who has what level of access. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna hop into that, my default admin portal group that has access to everything. So I'm just gonna go in and edit this so you can just see the options. So this is nice because again, the example that I showed, they had access to all of these things, but maybe you want your customers, maybe there's a subset that you only want them to be able to view the tickets that they have submitted. Um, allow them to keep themselves up to date while they're working from home, see what's going on with their ticket. Um, so there's a lot of different variables and variations you can make using these portal permission groups. In addition to that, if you go to just your general preferences, I mentioned that you can change the color scheme. So we've given you several options here. So this can hopefully accommodate for, you know, your your personal business color scheme. Um, lastly, I think it's also worth just quickly going over here to documentation. Um, I'm going to create a new page here. You'll see that you do have the ability to create different page types. So internal, of course, would be just for your company's eyes only. And then you do have two different customer portal options. So this first customer portal option would be utilized if you only wanted to create a piece of documentation for one customer, for example. But then you have the ability to release something on all customer portals. So again, if you wanna provide your users with some resources, this would be a really great way to do it. And then when they log into their portal, it would be right here for them to view. Well, I hope that you have found this helpful. Thank you so much for your time. Have a great day and please stay safe.